Assalamualaikum and very good night to all of you So, for today lecture is about thermocouple transducer uh, What is the thermocouple? It's a consist of two wire or the similar metal that join together at one end uh, We call it a hot junction and the junction between the thermocouple metal and copper so it's joined together we call it a cold junction alright and as you can see here this is the metal A for example this is a metal B and it joined with the copper okay so when the this uh, two dissimilar metal is joined together so we call it the hot junction and the, the between uh, metal and copper we call it a cold junction and if this one is uh, connected uh, together when there is a difference the temperature that you want to measure here and with the reference temperature you will see uh, some voltage here or we call it uh, EMF will be produced uh, uh, there are two effects of the thermocouple that means the thermocouple can be operated right, as the uh, two uh, uh, function which is um, it can uh, produce the voltage right, when there is uh, two different temperature here right, you can see and this is actually and the other operation is about the Peltier effect where you can supply the voltage and then it will produce uh, temperature right at two different right okay if you supply more voltage so maybe temperature here will be more than te this temperature so this is what we call it the Peltier effect so two uh, effect we call it Seebeck effect and Peltier effect okay and this is the uh, practical measurement of thermocouple right uh, same thing that i have mentioned before right when we want to buy a thermocouple there are many type of thermocouple uh, for example type j it combined between iron and constants um, the wire is black and operating temperature right and sensitivity so we know that the sensitivity is mean the input is temperature we want to measure the temperature and then the output will be voltage right and this is the advantage right uh, this advantage is non-linear temperature voltage relationship okay this is the table of the type of thermocouple and uh, the most important thing about the thermocouple is the uh, thermocouple table so inside here when you buy uh, some thermocouple for example type k thermocouple you can get the table or in the uh, data sheet okay or what is the table is about it will show you um, the temperature versus uh, voltage right this table uh, has been conducted by uh, manufactured during the test at the different temperature so from this temperature you need to be able to uh, read it so for example at 10 uh, kil, uh, degree at 10 degree so the temperature that mean um, we produce um, 0.39 volt uh, millivolt right in millivolt this one at the reference junction uh, 0 degree Okay, remember thermocouple have the hot junction and cool junction or measured junction and also reference junction so in this case is the reference junction is uh, uh, put it into ice we call it a zero degree okay so what we can get from the thermocouple table for example we want to measure uh, 102 uh, degree at the reference junction of zero so what the voltage that we will get it is 102 that means 100 you need to plus with 2 so you will got the voltage 5.378 so this one is the thermocouple type J and thermocouple uh, type K for example you want to get what is the temperature that uh, the thermocouple measured if you get the voltage 5.856 
so let find 5.856 yeah this one that's mean the temperature that thermocouple uh, will be measured at the reference junction of 0 degree which is 140 plus 3 so that's mean 143 and what about in between for example thermocouple type K uh, you want to measure the temperature at 41.5 that you that you already know the temperature 41.5 so 40 uh, plus 1 41 you don't have 41.5 you only have 41 and 42 that's why you need to use the uh, interpolation formula okay so this is the formula you want to find the temperature measure and so on so i think this formula you have been learning in uh, um, thermodynamic i think okay but let's look the example of type uh, point one a voltage 4.19 millivolt is measured with thermocouple uh, type K right, at 0 degree so what is mean uh, the reference uh, temperature for this thermocouple is at 0 degree here and the output is 4.190 millivolt find the temperature of the measured junction so what is the thermocouple uh, is measure that he got it 4.190 so we, uh, this is the solution you can see that 4.190 is between 101 plus 2 102 and 103 so you can uh, do like this one uh, in between the voltage low and high and temperature low and high and after that you can use the formula alright so if you can remember the formula is good right you just can uh, you just uh, apply it the all the input here go alright let's me recap back so thermocouple that's mean when you join two dissimilar metal for example metal A and metal B right you join it this one we call it hot junction this is the temperature that you want to measure and then uh, the the metal A we combine with the copper right so this one we call it uh, cold junction or reference junction okay oh, and uh, uh, what happened if we produce the EMF okay and this is the sensitivity right so um, for example you want to measure at uh, 1 0 degree so at the reference junction at 0 degree you can uh, get the uh, voltage is 5.856 so this is what I mentioned before so thermocouple what is mean is the difference between the hot junction and cold junction that's why you will got it the voltage here okay coming back to the um, uh, example uh, before 12.1 uh you already got the measured voltage 4.190 millivolt and you put it at the reference uh, temperature zero degree so here and of course you can get the voltage at here why because this output is the difference between you measured and the reference that means zero degree is zero millivolt and you can get here 4.190 millivolt so 4.9 uh, 4.190 is between uh, this one and this one and you want to find the x so this one you can use the what you have learned in thermodynamic so x minus 102 divide 103 minus 102 4.190 minus 4.179 and so on then you can get the same answer with the previous one okay all right yeah this is the what i mentioned it before all right how about if you change the reference junction okay for example right um, uh, thermocouple type j table with a zero degree okay now when you buy a thermocouple for example type j you you only have the reference uh, junction right at zero degree how about 
your reference change to 25 degree or maybe you put uh, something else in the room temperature and so on so what happened is now you need to find the temperature at 25 degree first okay and then uh, then you find the temperature that you want to measure for example 400 then uh, the output will be um, measured minus with reference remember thermocouple measured measured minus with the uh, reference then you will get the output okay and this uh, the output for for 400 degree at 25 yeah, reference and what happen is uh, if you looking at this graph when you change the reference that mean your temperature will be uh, that mean your output voltage of thermocouple will be dropped down will be decreased and uh, normally we write the um, what we call it the output of a thermocouple like this one for example you want to find the output which is voltage V thermocouple type what what is the thermocouple is, is type J reference uh, uh, junction at 30 degree ok 30 degree and what the temperature that you want to measure 150 degree so it's mean you only have the um, uh, table for reference junction at 0 degree that's mean voltage thermocouple type J uh, reference junction or table that you have 0 degree 150 degree that you want to measure minus with uh, voltage thermocouple type J reference table at 0 degree that you have uh, and uh, voltage for 30 degree ok so this is what you got it so normally we write like this one ok alright uh, let's look at this example a thermocouple type J with uh, 25 degree reference is used to measure oven temperature from 300 to 400 degree what is the output voltage correspond to this temperature so you only uh, have the table junction of 0 degree now your reference temperature is at 25 degree so what you can do is you uh, for example you want to find the temperature at 300 degree so voltage J and reference temperature is 25 degree 300 is equal to voltage J you only have the reference table 0 at 300 minus it voltage J 0 25 degree then you got the answer ok alright in uh, um, uh, graphical presentation is like this one you have your thermocouple right ok and you have the temperature that you, uh, you want to measure and this one your temperature reference type type J and you want to find 300 degree right and your reference is 25 degree so your output will be VJ voltage your output will be voltage right thermocouple will produce the voltage voltage VJ 25 degree and temperature that you want to measure 300 so from this one you can come out with this one right right ok VJ 0 because you only have the table 0 and minus this one you can got this one right same thing uh, happen when you measure 400 degree alright ok Yeah, it did the, the, the example like I showed you before. Okay, uh, let's look at the last example, example 12.3. A type K thermocouple with uh, 75 Fahrenheit, I uh, refer for this a voltage of 35.56 millivolt. What is the measured temperature at uh, 75 Fahrenheit, reference? So, first of all, you need to convert to Celsius then you get it 23.9 and then you can gather all the information like this one so, but um, you can go through all the solution but I want you to uh, look at this uh, graphical uh, presentation here so what is this about 
is uh, this is your thermocouple which is type K okay and you put it at uh, 75 Fahrenheit which is 23.9 uh, degree all right and then the output that you got it is 35.56 okay 35.56 okay so coming back uh, the question is I uh, ask you what is the temperature here okay at the reference uh, temperature uh, 75 Fahrenheit or 23.9 degree and you know that this one the voltage all right when you write it is VK 23.9 all right the reference and this one the temperature measured we don't know yet so we can write like this one VK 23.9 m VK 0 because we already we we only have the reference uh, table of zero uh, uh, reference and this one temperature measured okay minus it VK 0 23.9 okay and this is the output that you already uh, uh, got it uh, from the example 35.56 Millivert, right but I don't write a millivert here it's okay and first of all you need to find what is the voltage at 23.9 from the table so because this one you need to use the interpolation formula right and from the table you got it is uh, 23.9 between 20 and 25 and you solve it and then you got it x equal to 0 0.96 millivert okay and from here you can find VK zero m here and you got it at 36.52 okay so you already got it the voltage at here from the voltage you can find the temperature so 36.56 is between uh, here and here and you solve it you got it the X is 879.3 which is the temperature that you measured all right at 75 uh, Fahrenheit it's the same thing with this one okay same thing with this one all right all right and uh, the next example is about the example from the exam for uh, on the previous year you can look at this one the solution is it the same example like before okay thermocouple sensor the sensitivity this one you can read by yourself Right. and normally we uh, when we use the thermocouple we, we combine with the signal conditioning which is the differential signal uh, differential amplifier okay all right so that's it thank you